Bismillahirrahmanirrahim class today we are going to start our chapter number 10 that is basic concepts of geometry as you know that for geometry we have to piece different shapes and figures and lines so before starting that chapters we will discuss about the most common shapes that we see in our surroundings they are often present in nature but not immediately identifiable so these shapes cannot be identified that how what the shape of this figure is some are the shapes or a sphere some are circles and ovals and uh, some are triangles rectangles hexagon this is a shape like hexagon so the, uh, this shape may have a triangle and uh, you can see a straight line and the parallel lines parallel lines are those lines which cannot intersect each other at any point you can see you can see these track of a, this is these are the lines of a railway track and they cannot meet at any point they will go straight in their path so these lines are called the parallel lines that cannot intersect each other. What are the points and what are the lines? A line segment is a series of points that are bound at both ends. In a line segment, these are the two points and this line segment is bound in two points. So in the line segment A, this line segment is whether this line is going further but this is bound on two points they are a b here a b is the line segment so a line is a series of points that extends infinity on both directions the line segment is bound on two points but the line is infinity on both the lines so a surface is a flat and goes on to infinity in all directions a surface any surface is flat plane surface so it goes in all the directions to infinite points so what is a point a point has no length a breadth or height point has no length no breadth or height a geometrical point indicates only a position it has no dimension so you can see this is a point this is also a point it has no length width and height so a straight line segment a line segment is a series of points that is bound at both ends this is a line segment and it is bound on both ends it cannot be uh, you can say go next So these are the definitions and you have to memorize these definitions so you can do the chapter number 10 and exercise. What is a ray? A ray starts from a definite source. You can see this is a ray. AB is a line segment but here is a sign of arrow and it is it can be go to infinite limit. A ray starts from a definite source and extends to infinity on, on, on the other side it is starting from point A and it is going to infinity the sign of arrow means it can go to infinite limit array is a part of a line with one end point with the other point extending infinity and a line line segment has two ends two bounded ends and a line has a, uh, infinity on both its sides and a ray has a, uh, is a part of a line with one end point with an and other you can say a ray is a part of a line with one end point with the other point extending infinity and the other point is extending infinitely so what is a straight line Unlike line segment and rays, a line has no end points. And this is a straight line and it has no end points on its both sides. It is extending infinitely. 
so three or more points lying on the same straight line are known as collinear points what are the collinear points the three or more points lying on the same line they are called collinear points collinear means lying on the same point so this could be the part of your objective so you have to memorize these points the points not lying on the same straight line are known as non collinear point if the points are not lying on the straight line so they are known as non collinear point another thing if two or more lines pass through a point they are called concurrent lines these are the intersecting line and this is a concurrent point so which do not pass through the same point they are called non concurrent points any lines more than two lines two or more than two lines they are passing from the same point these lines are passing from the same point there it is p so they are passing from the same point so these are known as linear the p is collinear point and these lines are collinear sorry concurrent these are concurrent and they are passing through the same point these are the concurrent lines and the point of concurrency is p and what is a plane a plane is a two dimensional surface that has length and its breadth two dimensional figure surface that has its length and its breadth so what is a tilted plane and horizontal planes so these are the definitions but come for the exercise now the, and you have to fill in the these blanks and to, to give the true and false statements after reading the definitions again because we have covered all these points in the definitions now now come for the question number three i will guide you for one question and other parts you have to do your own they are observe the shapes below name the planes in each case in each case you have to give the name of planes which are the plane surfaces here is a plane that is a c b and d and other plane is a b and d you can see the name of the planes is a b a b and d is a plane a c and d is a plane a c d is a plane b c and d is a plane and then a d b is a plane a plane has in this question now you have to give the name of the planes how many planes are there in the second figure that is d e f a c d and uh, you can see that uh, a c f d this is also a plane then b c e f is also a plane and a e b d that is so here you have to give the names of line segments in question number three first you give the name of planes in question number three in figure first and second now you have to give the name of line segments of question number in question number three in figure number one according to question number four what is the how many line segments are there a d is a line segment then b d is a line segment then b c is a line segment then a c is a line segment a b is a line segment and you have to give the bar on that a b b c and whatever the line segments are 
and then also you have to give the name of line segments in each figure too they are this is df is a line segment af ac cb and then fb and ab and de these are the line segments in second figure now come for the question number five that is name the following what is the name of this it has the line segment so this is you can see a line segment this is a ray a b and this is also a ray that is b a starting from b this is a line segment that is a b now question will come for the question number six so you have to tell how many points are there on a line here is a line so how many points could be there on a line they are infinite line points could be on a line so you have to give answer at infinite how many lines can be drawn through a given point if it is given a point so how many lines could be drawn you can draw unlimited lines from this point so you can see that infinite lines be drawn from that point so how many lines can be drawn drawn through the given two given points if you are given any two points so how many lines could be drawn from that two points only one line could be drawn give an example of two non-intersecting lines any two non-intersecting lines they are parallel lines they cannot intersect each other at any point now come take four points a b c d on a sheet of paper you for example this is a sheet of paper and we are taking a b c d four points join them in pairs we are joining them in pairs these are the points a b c and d we made their pairs so how many line segments do you get how many line segments if the points are non-collinear if these points are non-collinear they are not lying on the same line these four points are not on the same line they are non-collinear so how many line segments we have we have one line segment two line segment three line segment and four line segment then five and six so how many line segments did we get six line segments if the points are collinear if all the points lie on the same line a b c and d lie on the same point so how many line segments will we get one line segment if three of them are collinear if three points lie on a same line for example a b c and one is not collinear you can see one d point is here so how many line segments will become these line segments will be like a b a d one line segment two line segment three line segment four one two three four line segment so we can have four line segments name the line segment ray and the lines in the figure below this is a ray d c is also a ray a b is a line segment and b c is a line segment but a d is a ray then d a is also a ray uh, what are the concurrent lines what are the concurrent lines as we learnt in the previous page that the lines passing through the same point are known as concurrent lines in the figure name the lines which are concurrent at o at o how many lines are concurrent a c at o a c is concurrent d b is also concurrent you can also write it as d b or b d then g h and then a c d b g h then e f 
these are passing from the same line one two three four they are passing from O and now at A at A how many lines are concurrent they are uh, at point A they are A let us see A and D A is concurrent at point A now come to the next page how many points of congruency do you find in the figure below how many points are of congruency you can see one point is this second is here third is here fourth fifth and sixth one two three four five six and seven there are seven points of concurrency here are seven points where more than two or more than two lines intersect each other now come in number 12 that you have to do your own you have to draw a line of a b a b 3.5 centimeter for example this is a line of 3.5 centimeter a b 3.5 centimeter draw a c draw then draw a ray a c and b c on the sides of a b a c and b c now take any point d and draw draw d c you have to draw on the same point a c take and d c Is there any point of congruency? Is there any point of congruency? Yes, C is a point of congruency. And uh, you can take a point, any point, D, C. You can take D over here. Which lines already are congruent? A, C, D, C, and B, C are congruent. You can see. You can also draw a diagram of your own choice, but you have to take this line as 3.5 centimeter and here are given multiple choice questions and they are from the definitions that we have done before so you have to do as yourself assessment